Hello everybody, I'm Captain Nate, and about a year ago, I started a server called Rise to Power, and we made a lot of episodes on there, and I thought it'd be really cool to put all of the episodes together, um, and make a full movie. So, enjoy the entire Rise to Power movie, starting now. The first thing I did was run away from that giant mob of people, until eventually, I found a really nice place to settle down. I made this small little shack, and tried my hardest to survive in the wild. I got a gun in Minecraft? Also, it's nighttime, and it's very scary out here, in my little shack. I'm terrified. I'm gonna go inside now so I don't die. After a while, living alone just wasn't fun, and I wanted to join other people. Luckily, there were things happening in other parts of the world. There are currently five nations, meaning I had five potential homes. My first option was this nation called Nercaria. When I got there, they were planning a meeting with another nation called Chekorsia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Divya. What if you guys, no, yeah, what if you guys both give each other gifts and then you move on? And you become friends. They stole from us. Us. We have nothing. Oh. You killed Ryan. Sorry, I, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't know the context. Defense. Oh, I didn't know it was that serious, to be honest. I didn't know there was murder involved. I'm you just kind of here, to be honest. I, I live in the woods. Defense. <laughs> I mean, you, you that's a reasonable that's kill. Whoa. Apparently, someone killed a guy, and then one nation stole from the other, and now they're both very upset. And after I failed to ease the tension, I decided to leave. I mean, I mean, you guys stole gonna... our uh, enchanting table and you killed our. No, we did I'm just because we have our own. This gets table. escalated. I'm just I'm just really a, you know, there's a possibility yeah, someone came. He's escaping. He's escaping. He's escaping. What do you mean escaping? He's escaping. What do you mean escaping? He's escaping. He's running. <laughs> no, I just want to be. I'm getting shot at. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. I ran all the way back home, and then just as I got home, Nicaria declares war. Seeing this happen made me realize that I didn't want to live in any of these nations, so that narrowed down my options to three nations. Oh wait, the war is over. Jacorsia surrendered with no real fighting taking place. Then Nicaria said, listen, come back, give us a second chance, and pretend this whole war thing never happened. So I went back to Nicaria. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. You see that spyglass in front of you? I need spyglass. Do you not? Oh. This meeting went way better, and they were really nice to me. Our nation was founded by myself and Ascario. That guy over there really likes spyglasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have spyglasses. He's staring me down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the king. The king The king takes a shining to you, Nate. Uh, we also, I think we're one of the funner nations. I mean, hey, every time I've been here, some fun has happened, so. Yeah, we like to have fun. We don't like to all work and no play, because all work and no play makes us uh, sad. Uh, well, cool seeing you. Uh, all right. So hope you can our nation. And, I definitely uh, will, and I'll soon. if I if I choose this nation, I'll come back. Right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Later, Ned. Bye. Bye. While I was in Nercaria, a new nation formed in the southern hemisphere called Shoto. This nation was located on an island surrounded by water, and I didn't know much about it. So what could go wrong? <laughs> Ow, what the? I'm- uh, I'm leaving. No, don't No, leave. I'm leaving. I join here and this? you accuse me of teleporting. And oh no, now I'm oh. definitely leaving. Why are you leaving, Nate? He looks like he's huh? gonna put me in some kind of bank fraud. Why are you leaving, Nate? I don't want to get into that. I, wait, 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 wait. I have a good credit score. I don't want to ruin it. I'm just going for a stroll. Don't follow me. I'm not I'm, following I'm, you, don't worry. I. I feel like you are, actually. I'm just getting some fresh air over this way. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. You know, in my defense. Oh, no. Wait, what oh, did you do? No. He punched it. <laughs> don't you, don't you run. You stay here. <laughs> what? Stay. Oh. Yes, now Hi. I can talk. I don't like this. I... This is Do scary. you want to know what we based our nation on? I My favorite I I country in the world. North Korea. Yep. I got kidnapped in Shoto, and after they robbed me and took all of my things, I was feeling pretty hopeless. Luckily for me, Nercaria was aware of what was going on, and sent someone out to come rescue me. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. You're not allowed here. Yeah, why isn't he here? Because I said so. Is he in your I nation? don't really care. 
Who? Blocks. Right, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm going this way. Are you leaving? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not leaving. We're not. Nate, leaving. get back I'm here. I'm not leaving. I'm not Nate. Leaving. Nate, get back here. Not I'm not leaving. I'm going to the beach. Oh, hey, he's oh part my god, he shot you. Oh, go, 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 the Red Knights currently have two colonies and have the largest population on the server. They recently had a meeting with Nercaria, and the two nations are in good relations. The northernmost nation is the Great North. I do not know much about them at the moment. Same with Daytopia and Archipelagon. One of the Nercaria members decided that he was no longer a proud member of Nercaria, and this made the rest of Nercaria very upset. If you don't like the nation, I guess we'll just have to kick you out. Nope. What? No, you can't do that. Why? Because if you do, we're gonna be very upset for really no reason at all. And maybe even invade you. Hey. That's not nice. And so, out of fear of being invaded, Nercaria- wait, where'd they go? After Nercaria was threatened to be invaded, all the members went into hiding, pretty much abandoning the country. We all lived in a cave for a while. Do you want armor? No. Do you want a house? Make a house. Time, no, 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 no. Last I will, time one I day. gave Nate armor, he lost it within five minutes. <laughs> that is true. He gave him full netherite, and man's died. We should Isn't decide there... on a new base location, by what the way. Are you talking about yeah, that? we should. If only there was a dying nation with a very small population looking for someone to lead it. Oh, look, the Great North has a very small population and is looking for someone to lead it. If I take over the Great North, I promise that if you guys get into any wars, we will help you. Oh, don't worry. We won't get into any wars. Look at me. I am the leader now. Okay. Okay, this is this is the Great North. Uh, I, I just became one of the leaders today, so not much has happened here. Because I just got here, but I do have a lot of plans for this place. And the first plan was to raise the population. Because right now, the Great North has the smallest population on the server. Hey, want to join the Red Knights? No. Who said that? He wants to join the Great North. And after convincing some people to join the Great North instead of the Red Knights, I had another idea. The Red Knights were divided into three sections, the mainland and then two colonies. Currently the Red Knights have the largest population, but if I could convince one of their colonies to leave and join the Great North, we could potentially have the biggest population. Hey Ostia, what if you left the Red Knights and joined the Great North? You know. That doesn't sound too bad. Hey, I declare war on you. Well, if you declare war on him, I declare war on you. Yeah, well, if you declare war on him, I declare war on you. Why? Apparently, someone killed a guy, and now Wildwood and the Red Knights are at war with Northumbia and Chikorsha. Yes, it's pronounced Chikorsha. I got it wrong last video. Deal with it. One Wildwood member and the Red Knights made the long journey to get to Northumbia. But just as they got to Northumbia, Chakorsha and Northumbia snuck around and went to the Red Knight's capital. When the Knights realized that no one was in Northumbia, they turned around and went back to their land, only to be ambushed. Yeah, oh, they're all there, they're all there. After a long battle, the Red Knights had to surrender, ending the war. The Red Knights end up losing both of their colonies. Corinto becomes independent, and Ostia is now under the control of Northumbia. 
Wildwood then has a meeting with the Great North to try and rebuild the reputation and create new alliances. Yeah, we definitely, I think an alliance would be good. Um, one thing I would want to see is the ability for your nation and my nation to be able to go to each other's lands, be friendly and peaceful. I want to make sure you don't have any um, partnership with the Red Knights or Chikorsha. Um, we just started an alliance with the Red Knights. I'm not sure if I'm gonna we're gonna stay the, with the alliance. So yeah, yeah, I have and I have for new people. I have a good reason not to. Um, I I have I got insider information. And I think you would want to hear this. This this came straight from the leader of the Red Knights. He said, "Since the fall of Nakaria, we still need to get rid of the rest that remain, even the ones that didn't die. It's very important that TRK continues to control all aspects of the server." So I don't know huh. about you, but it sounds like what they want. Is total control and I wouldn't want to be teamed I wouldn't want to be allies with someone like that after meeting with Wildwood and now with no wars it was time to try and get Ostia again hey Ostia how do you feel about being a part of Northumbria it's not great to be honest well what do you say you join hey I declare war on you Nakaria used to be over here but all the members moved and renamed the nation to feed fin fin Whatever. And because I promised to help them, the Great North had to join the war. Luckily for me, there was confusion in Northumbria, and they started attacking each other. So by the time Phoenicia got there, they were able to take out the remaining Northumbians, ending the war and the Great North never had to fight. After the war, Northumbria disbanded. Meaning... Ostia, get in. Hey! I declare. And now that Ostia is finally mine, I officially made the Great North the largest nation by population. Yes, thank you, thank you. And life was good for about three seconds. Oh hey, a new nation formed. And look, the Red Knights are gone. Oh, a revolution just failed in Chikorsha. Oh no, the new nation just invaded Chikorsha and took them out. Oh no, they're threatening to go to war with Shoto. Oh hey, what is this? Wait, they're gonna do what? After finding out about Qajar Dynasty's plan, the other nations were very upset. It's time for war. However, I had a couple things I had to do before war. Number one, show Shoto my house. Guys, here's my beautiful home. And then I have um oh, no. a Why, shrine of plugin? a shrine of um uh, our goddess. Number two, make a beacon. Number three, make a nether portal. And number four, pray. This is Where is, this is the goddess I pray to. Please bow for her. And after all that, we were ready for war. Now, Qajar Dynasty was a pretty strong nation, so it was going to take a lot of people to defeat them. And a lot of people we had. Do you have the TP that night? Yep. I have the beacon, everyone. Why do I feel like I'm going to be dead after this? Dude. If they haven't taken it, yes. Yeah. How do we actually get Nate, to Kachar from here? Nate, we just go us. back through the bowl? Uh, well, you're gonna go this way. They're right Do we it. just go through and, and then run away from it? Because we can go in, we just can't attack. It, it might be a trap, so we just need to send Someone one guy go. that has nothing. <laughs> Someone I'll, go. I'll just go. Go, I'll David. Go, go so David. You, you got this. Go, David. You got this. You got this. Oh, yeah. We believe in you. There's nothing here. Oh, okay. Okay. Does anyone have a pickaxe? Yeah, donkey, donk is over in that direction. Go through, it's gonna start another portal. Chop, 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 come over here. Let's go! Zin's dead, Zin's dead, Zin's dead, Zin's dead, Zin's already down! Nice, take his grave, make sure you take graves. Take, take the graves, take the graves, take the graves. You have to take the graves. Okay, no, nothing useful. I oh, got some stuff. I love Bundy Fire. Oh. Wait, can someone make the thing a public waypoint, please? Uh, so somebody help me with sleep, help me with sleep right now. Where are- I'm coming, I'm coming. Where are you? I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try. Okay, I Yo, Commander Nate just got screwed up. Oh. Run over sleep. Run over him. Go! Where are they? Oh, both. Sleep's both. both. His helmet's what? broken. Nice, nice. Ooh. Look, all I know is I've <laughs> killed Bim, and I don't know whose side he was on. Gurns, yes, go. Oh, he's gone. Let's go to the grave before he TPs back to it. 
my goddess. We have one. Thank you. After the defeat of the Kajar dynasty, we held a meeting for negotiations and ruled that the Kajar dynasty had to disband. Two of the most aggressive nations so far have been wiped off the map, and in their place new nations rise. Shoto gets the old Kajar dynasty land, and in the northwest a new nation forms called the... Not gonna even try to pronounce that name. And in the southeast, a new nation forms called Norduria. How do people come up with these names? What are these? I then had a meeting with the other leader of the Great North. That's right, I'm not the only leader uh, in the nation. I think what sh we should focus on at the moment is it's building and building up. and yeah, building, getting materials, yeah. and just kind of let's just kind of take it easy right now. Good talking to you. Yeah, thanks. Long live Bye, the Great Nate. North. Yeah, long live the Great North. Bye. Bye. After a war against Northumbria, the Great North got a hold of the colony Ostia. But after all the people in the colony somehow disappeared, Marxist Hobo and myself went to check out the colony. I don't think this is the actual city, though. No, Maybe there's no way. Is. If this is what I was fighting so hard over, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> this this can't just be it. There has to be more. And that was it. We then went back to the Great North, but when we got back, we discovered something terrible. The Natalie Portman Shrine was gone, and we know who did it, because he sent us a picture. But this made me very angry. Hey Cool Bear, so Max stole the shrine, and he's part of Nordoria, so I really want to go to war against them. No, that's dumb. Okay, fine. I'll make my own nation and fight them. So, I created my own nation and got ready for war. Hey Commander Nate. I'm leaving the Great North, and was wondering if you wanted to be the leader of it. Yes. So I went back to the Great North, and now as the only leader, I changed the name, the flag, and the location. Now, I was ready for war. Wait, what's going on over there? Hey, I don't like you. Oh yeah? Well, I think you look like the backside of a camel. What? A newly formed nation started to get some pretty power-hungry ideas. They want world domination. And they claim that Phoenicia is in their way. Somehow. So with the help of Norduria, they all travel to Phoenicia, and a large gathering forms. How are you guys doing today? Do you know what our mission is? Do you know what our mission is? No clue. We want world domination. Okay. You guys kind of stand all? in our way. Uh, we will not stand in your way. Wait. Hold on. Go back a little bit. Yeah, okay, right there. Aha! That's Max. The guy who stole his shrine. Okay, Max is currently in Phoenicia over there. I have two options. I can either sit here and wait for them to fight, and then after whatever war they get into is done, I can go and get Max. Or, I can go over there now, demand they give me Max right now, and risk getting into a war. Hmm. Dolphin? Or after you stole the iron, come on. We still have still I wanted to do that, man. I'm sorry. I so, so, to do that. I mean, we can sorry, come to an agreement if you give all the iron off, back. Man. Oh, oh, guys, yeah, Kaden, go, go, go. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, I'll get um, I'll, I'll get I just I'll want die. Max. Nate, shut up. Nate, shut up. I just want Max. <laughs> if I can politely have Max, I'll move on and I'll, I'll pretend this never happened. Oh, shit. The teacher wants Max. You know Max. You can have Max. I understand. No, Max. Max. I need you. Nate, come here. Nate, come <laughs> You're mine now, Max. <laughs> You're mine now. Hello, Max. No, don't run away. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Max, just stop running. I'm not gonna hurt you if you stop running. But if you keep no. running, I'm gonna hurt you. Just stop running. I just want to talk. Why is there a wall? Max, Bro, please. I just want to talk. <laughs> this is China. I just want to talk. Max, please. What? Please, okay, Max. Okay, talk, talk, talk while no, I no. Talk. I I can't I can't run and talk at the same time. It's it, it's can. too difficult for me. You gotta stop running. Uh, Don't get on that. Um, so, for all of your crimes that you committed, you get this. I'm gonna keep you in here. And and if if you escape, then I'm gonna have to do something bad to you. Do you have any food on you? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? If you have any food, mm -hmm. I would. I want that food right now. And I'll give no. you better food in exchange. I don't, I don't have any food. I'll give you better food in exchange, Max. <laughs> Please give me food. Give me the food you have. have food. No, you're lying, food. Max. You're lying. Fine. Give me the food. <laughs> give me the food. Give me all the food you have. All the food you have. That's not food. Max, don't make me pull the trigger. No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> oh, Max, you're gonna regret this, Max. No. Why? Why he's so. F oh, God. He put so much dirt. No. No, he put dirt there. Okay. Guys, have, okay, I, so have, any, uh, how, so have any of you seen Max? Should we do a preemptive attack? Uh, well, he's on member. Yeah. Max, he hey, member hey, how about this? Hey, join us, us join us, because Max is in Nadario. We'll give you Max. That's how about true. That? So yeah, that's all I want. All I want is Max. If they, if they declare right. war, I will side with you guys. And hey, as long as we get, as long as we get hey, Max and hey. whatever that other guy is. Plot armor's on our side. Plot armor's on our side. In the quest for world domination, they hope to declare war on Phoenicia and claim their land. But once they found out that Corinto and Sheed would be helping Phoenicia, they decided that war just wasn't what they wanted. But now knowing their idea of world domination, Phoenicia wanted to put a stop to this. So they declared war on them, and Corinto and Sheed did too. And this. Ew, why is that Nord uh, Norduria man here? What's that? We have to say? We will not be you declaring me. war on you guys. Okay? But you we you will like not be declaring war at You're this time. built like you guys, a man. Um, my my mom yeah, is uh, built better uh, than you. Uh, a preemptive attack should we decide to? Yeah. The best strategy will be a complete offensive on them. We can easily decimate them. They have nothing good against us. That's true. Yeah, I mean it's. It's basically inevitable that they're gonna attack us at some oh, point. Oh, Kaden, are you gonna run? Beat them to it. No, I'm not That's running. That's true. They oh, made cool. it very clear they want world domination. They yeah. did. They, they've told us that they want world domination, and they actually yeah. demanded we give them all of our territory. I want Max. We kind of we we want it, you know. And after a while, they decided to run back to their nation. And it was time for us to go invade them. But before we can do that, I had to go to Corinto. Because I had some unfinished... What's it like coming back here? Wake up! Uh, it, it's honestly a little sad. Hey, let me turn. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's... Alright, let's, we right, we're... Okay. Hey, we're attacking hey, so a nation with no people. <laughs> let's go. Well, Hello there. Uh, oh! How dare that person who did that? <laughs> you can never be south. twice as smart as me, because that means that we just... Straight, just straight south. south! Straight south! Everyone goes south! Is this all I have? I think so. Once we got there, the city was completely abandoned, and so we just kind of stood around for a little bit, and then went home. In the end, I think we technically won the war, still not sure. They did abandon their own nation, so sounds like a win to me. Anyways, this was probably the worst Minecraft war ever, so I'm glad you sat here and watched it. I'm gonna steal your horse and, uh, kill your dog. Hey, that's not nice. Oh wow, I hope that doesn't start any type of conflict. Last video, I became the leader of the Great North, and the old co-leader Cool Bear left. And after I moved the Great North and created Sheed, Cool Bear formed his own nation near Wildwood, called the Tropical Kingdom. And Wildwood was not happy. You can't be there. Why not? Because it's mine. But you don't own it. Not yet. Wait, what? So, Wildwood did the only thing that made sense. They declared war. 
And not long after, the Tropical Kingdom was forced to surrender and Wildwood claimed their land, expanding their empire. Now remember last video? Norduria and Sinarpo threatened to go to war against Phoenicia, but when they found out that Sheed and Corinto would be helping Phoenicia, they backed off. But then Phoenicia declared war on them, and when Phoenicia, Sheed, and Corinto went to attack the Sinarpos, they abandoned their land, and there was really no war. Well, tensions between Sinarpos and Corinto are still pretty high. And remember Chikorsha? They got invaded by the Kajar dynasty and disbanded. Well, they're back, and they are now the UCSR, and they are on Corinto's side, along with Sheed, Phoenicia, and Shoto, while only one nation is supporting Sinarpos, which is Norduria. The Sinarpos would be crazy to declare war, so for now, there was peace. For about three seconds. With the Sinarpos' continued threats to invade Corinto, Corinto had enough and declared war on the Sinarpos. Sheed, Phoenicia, Shoto, and the UCSR quickly joined in against the Sinarpos. The plan was simple send everyone to their land and hopefully have a quick victory. Let's go, men. Yeah. Everybody ready to get Moxist, your gapples and everything Moxist. there? We're gonna, we're gonna flank. We're gonna flank. Nate, please don't die. Let's go, men. We invaded you again, just to find nobody. <laughs> it really is. They, you know, I've we've it. done this before. Once we got there, it was empty, and we feared that this would be the same outcome as the last war. But then, we found out that they were in Corinto, so half of us went back to Corinto and fighting broke out in the city. I have oh, one. Nate, I need to have Nate, it. What? Okay, so who's, Nate, who's they're all at it. They're, they're all, all there. there? Any, I just need one, so oh, we get down there. Coming, I gave you one. They, they have a they're, they're, they're on their they're way. Off and killed a -bomb. Right. <laughs> Fighting broke out and members of Nordoria showed up. Confusion spread throughout the battlefield, and over in Corinto, the Sinarpos were winning. They have a I, I really mean, Keep firing. Hold them back. Let's go on the capital. Go on the capital. Go on the capital. I wouldn't recommend going in the water, it's gonna give us a disadvantage. Oh! He's right here. Oh, <laughs> I'm keeping it. Holy. Oh, damn. Good. Get, let's stay, let's stay over here on land. Their advantage is water. Oh, oh god. Can someone, can someone kill Elder guy, please? Oh my god, he got my gap. Hey, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I can't really kill me, right? Oh my god, we're for real. If we get TNT here, if we get off their land, they can't use TNT minecarts. Who do I shoot at? <laughs> Charge, boys. Is that Woody? Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god, he's here. <laughs> I know, I was doing things. It's crazy. Why is that guy. Who is who? I know. <laughs> this is the most confusing thing I've ever done. Who is this? I need to. Yeah. I need to figure okay. out what's been going on. Hey, get in here. Get in the ocean. They're in the ocean. They're right over there. Come on. In the ocean. Oh, LJ. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't like it here. Ready now. I am so confused. Bro, dude, what's Where is everyone? LJ. I have a wooden sword, Nate. Oh shoot, Nate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, I got the. It was never no, meant no, to be, man. No, 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 please, please. I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my god. That was, in, that was crazy. Is Archipelagon fighting too? No one, so everyone, pretty much everyone died that went to their mainland. And I don't know where everyone else was. There was half of us missing from that fight. I don't know where they were. Kazuna Khan was shot by jail. Two of those nations aren't even in the war. They never declared. I'm so confused. Who is fighting who? When did this become an all-out world war? We're gonna chill here for the rest of the war. I give up. It was good. But it was fun while it lasted. I'm safe. I don't know how I.
Now it's time for the war negotiations. And here's kinda how they went. Okay, so I want your land, but you get to keep it. So is it my land or your land? Well, I want to claim your land, but you get to do whatever you want with it, so it's yours, but we want it. Okay, so it's gonna be our land. We will claim your land, but we won't touch it, and you can do whatever you want with it. We just want to say it's ours, but it's really yours, but also ours. So is it your land? And this went on for quite a while. But eventually they agreed that Corinto would become a colony of Sinarpos, and Phoenicia would give up their mainland. Meaning Phoenicia still had some land up here, but after losing their capital, they wanted more protection. So they became a state of Sheed. With a growing population, Sheed wanted something more. So they called the Pope over for a meeting. Hold up, technically, since we have the Pope under our control, we can declare ourselves a holy empire. We, we really oh, could. Oh, we could. Cause, cause, uh, you, you and know, then the, make, the Pope. And then make you emperor. Me and the, the, I, I actually might become a saint from, from the Pope, but yeah. What do you, how do you feel about the, the holy, empire. the holy Nizonian empire? Holy Nizonian, I like that, man. I think that's a oh, good one. Get the Pope, get, get the Pope in here to make it. Yeah. Official. Yeah, so Pope, yeah. um, since you are the Pope, um, we called you here today because we want you to declare us as a holy empire. And of course, we claim the Holy Land, so it's protected by a nation as well. Exactly. <laughs> oh damn, this is the big call, boys. You know this. Pope, I, I hope- I want you to remember that through all of your times of struggle, oh, Sheed members have always five. been there for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm right in the, the- where I'm proclaiming all the Sheed members to be holy knights. For the church. Oh, that sounds oh, that sounds so yeah, cool. Sound like, oh. It does sound cool. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on we can't uh, we can't get made fun of anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what if they bully us for believing in a god? I mean, goddess. I will kill them. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to step down as leader and hold re-elections for a new king. Through war, triumph, and, and prosperity, prosperity, I have been your leader. I led this nation from a frozen tundra to a prosperous empire. Today I feel that I am no longer capable to lead. I am growing weak. We need a leader ready for a fight, and one that represents the strength this nation has. Today I officially retire, and I ask you, the people, to decide the future of this empire. I will uh, make sure that the empire grows stronger, and that we improve relations with every country that we can. That's it. I can't think of any other words. I believe in the strength of our union. Should any of us win, this union of states needs to be protected and held dear at all costs. We will follow the lead of the Pope through anything that happens. We will stick with our allies through everything. Witty ended up winning and he became the new leader of the Holy Nizonian Empire. But over in the south, a new nation had formed and they were growing quickly, claiming land and taking over other nations. And they were allies with the Sinarpos. The Holy Nizonian Empire was quite scared of this new nation, fearing that they might help the Sinarpos take over the world. And another new nation formed over in the Northwest, and they were quite underdeveloped and lacked resources, making them a good target for Moonlandia. Protecting every nation from Moonlandia or the Sinarpos was very important. If too many nations fell, there would be no one left to stop them from taking over. And without hesitation, Moonlandia declared war on the kingdom of Eulinia. And here's the problem. The Holy Nizonian Empire really wants to help in the war to take down Moonlandia. But if the Holy Nizonian Empire gets involved, then the Sinarpos will join Moonlandia. So I left the Holy Nizonian Empire and joined the kingdom of Eulinia to help them in the war and prevent the Sinarpos from joining. We then waited in the capital for Moonlandia to attack. To lose, so I, I'm telling you, if you're low, don't stop, just don't, don't stop fighting. The, I, the lowest you can get them is the is better. I'm just gonna like do this so there's like only one way they can go on the ladder, which is this way. Ooh, there you go, that's good. Okay, Minecraft update. Right. Well, we have one minute, so... We have one minute. Uh, we'll try. One minute and they're gonna the invade. Okay, whenever... Okay, I'm at back, this I'm point, back, I'm back. Whenever you see them, you can start firing. Whenever you see them. Hey, someone look Someone look out the other way too to make sure they're not coming up from behind Adrian. us. Oh, look at Wait, where are you? Here they are, here they are. Okay. They're, hey, they're coming for this. Oh, wait, that's Smiley. That's Smiley. They're pushing. Uh, they're Run. pushing from the left. Yeah, I see. I see. You. They're fighting someone. Oh, you're down there. Smiley's down there. Smiley's Can someone Smiley. help? Smiley. Just keep keep fire. Oh, oh God, they're up there. 
th they were up here. Ah, oh, I didn't- no one said they were up there. The first battle was a huge loss for the kingdom of Eulinia. We got pushed back to another city where we had our final stand. Get ready for anything. Over here, they're over here, they're over here. They're going, they're going. Shoot shit. at them, fire at them. Ow! Oh. I found Pearl, yeah. Pearl, Pearl, oh, okay. I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead already, sorry. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got out of there. Keep his hair on the bottom. Why is he going for me? What have I done? Just kill all the weak people. Okay, Nate is literally shredding people, so I think Nate can actually win this war. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> we haven't killed a single one of them. We never in this war. Nate near the water, Nate, you can go near the water, there's water around. They took my chest plate, come on. Okay. Alright, this could be there could be one more we could have one more battle and this would be the last yeah. battle. No, well I don't Aww, think he didn't that's... let me he didn't I let died. me surrender. Oh. <laughs> After the second battle, the kingdom of Eulinia had no choice but to surrender, and Moonlandia claimed them as a colony. I went back to the Holy Nizonian Empire feeling defeated, and it only got worse. Rumors spread that the Sinarpos, Moonlandia, and Wildwood would invade the Holy Nizonian Empire. So with nothing left to lose, the HNE declared war on Wildwood. Many people in the Holy Nizonian Empire did not agree with the war, so only a few went to fight and with the lack of resources, this war was a disaster. We invaded their capital, but got pushed out quickly. So when you see them, shoot them, kill them, murder them, they need to pay yeah. for all of their crimes. Lightus is going. No, just run, just no. run this way, run this way, run this way. Okay. Behind you. Oh, that's not good. What is oh. this? After a short amount of time, Wildwood was able to push us all the way back to our land. Yeah. We does yeah, want to have any allies. What, what happened? Who declared war on who? Uh... I, I don't know. The Holy Nizonian Empire lost the next battle, and had to surrender. Yeah, you, you, or you're the one that, that wanted this war. Kerbs, I, I was, before, was before you do me. anything... Before you don't do anything and make any decision, I would like to point some things out to you, okay? Um, I think we're pretty even now. You know, you declared war on me, I declared war on you. It was all for fun. We're even. And we didn't really have much of a chance. So, like, you know, there's no point to, to do too many bad things. To <coughs> us. Nay, I will just say this. Because, like, it was, it, you know, we're even. So I feel like, you know... The punishment was made. I was having, I was having a nice little. You didn't get a punishment was, for declaring war was, against us. So I don't, you know, I don't. This war on, was supposed on. to be your punishment, but you failed miserably, Nate. Yeah, and that was my punishment. I agree. Nate, we can move on, and I will never. The the Holy Nizonian Empire will never go to war with you again. Here's the thing, Nate. You barged into my country, speaking war. You, you wanted me gone as the leader. I still do, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I want you gone as the leader, Nate. I want you Well, I'm not leader, so leader. that's done. Done. I want you to step down of whatever, whatever. I want the leader to step down. I, what, whoever's the leader, I, I want He's you. He's not even here, so he didn't even fight. It's kind of, um, that's kind of rude, you know? Well, aren't you the emperor or something? No, I'm, no. Me and Un Lenny, unfortunately, we're... you got me at a, at a good time, as I was already hurting from last war, but that's... I, you know, I yeah. still wanted to at least fight. I'm not a coward. Better to die honorably than surrender, even though I did surrender, but I at least fought in a war. These are my terms. I would like you to be exiled from this nation and not to come back, not to step foot ever again in 
in Wildwood Land. I want you gone. You want me gone? I was exiled, and the HNE lost all of its colonies. After seeing this, the Pope denounced the Empire as holy, and it became just the Nizonian Empire. Sinarpos, Moonlandia, and Wildwood have grown, while I have lost everything I have worked for. After I got exiled, I just got in a boat and sailed. I've, I've been boating for a long time. I don't know where I'm going. Wh where, what happens now? I just keep boating? Now, me getting exiled was not the only part of the deal. Wildwood also made Witty step down as leader and made Marxist Hobo the new leader of the NHE. The NHE was clearly now falling apart and people started to leave. Then the final blow to the NHE happened when the Pope removed the holy title and removed my role as saint of the church. Now this was outrageous. It was unfair. How can you make the religion but not be granted a role in the church? And just like that, the Pope was dead. And now with the Pope gone, Marxist Hobo had the freedom to do whatever he wanted with the Nizonian Empire. It was his time to shine. The Nizonian Empire is going to merge with Shoto. Now the Holy Nizonian Empire was neither holy, Nizonian, or an empire. And after traveling for a while, I ended up in Shoto and decided to live there. And after the Nizonian Empire merged with Shoto, Shoto became the most populated nation. And things in Shoto were quite nice. They had nice buildings, a lot of resources, their own currency, and slave. But over on the east side of the map, a newly formed nation had growing tensions with Moonlandia. After seeing the NHE fall, Varnova was scared that they would be next. Then, members of Moonlandia went into Varnova, and after some confusion, Varnova people started attacking the Moonlandians. The Prince of Varnova ordered the fighting to stop, and requested Moonlandia to leave. The King of Moonlandia was not happy about what happened. How could they do this? We did enter their land unannounced. Whose side are you on? I'm calling the Sinarpos, and we are going to attack those ruthless barbarians. Moonlandia then declared war on Varnova with the help of the Sinarpos. The Sinarpos and Moonlandia moved in towards the border. Then, fighting broke out. Varnova was quickly pushed back into their capital city, but all they had to do was hold out just a little longer until backup would arrive. I do not like Moonlandia, Wildwood, or the Sinarpos. So do you want to go to war with them? I say we declare war and take them out. Eventually, the UCSR and Elysium joined the war to help Varnova. Two Corinto members then joined to help fight off the Sinarpos in hopes to gain independence. Then they made a huge push and sent them into full retreat. And after the major loss, Moonlandia surrendered, ending the war. During the negotiations, Eulinia gained independence from Moonlandia, and Corinto finally gained independence from the Sinarpos. Then to avoid paying reparations, the leader of Moonlandia disbanded the nation. Uh, hey, so Moonlandia just disbanded. Well, look at that. They probably heard us talk about war, and they were so scared, they decided to disband. Ah, we are amazing. Uh, no, it's because I just defeated them in a war. Yeah, you, in a war? Come on, you never fight in wars. I've fought in many wars. <laughs> okay, uh, leave it to us, we'll take care of this. But they're already gone. Now with Moonlandia gone, it was time to go after the Sinarpos and Wildwood. But there was one problem. I was poor, and if I was going to have any chance at fighting the Sinarpos, I would need to get to work. Take this. It's partially enchanted. Oh, Good hello. Job. You made it back. Yes, uh, I definitely did not get stuck in a concentration camp. Sorry, what? Here, I'll buy you some. You need protection. What is happening? Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then don't- no, 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 put the block three blocks away from the bed. After we all got prepared, Shoto then declared war on the Sinarpos, and the UCSR and Elysium joined to help Shoto. And after spending hours getting resources and preparing, there was no way I would end up dying within the first two minutes because people from nations that never declared killed me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> We're gonna watch from the, I don't, We're gonna another, watch from I don't the rooftop. Oh, never mind. The battle lasted a very long time, with casualties on both sides. But after what might be the longest battle on the server so far, the Sinarpos won.
But with so many casualties, they were not able to fight in another battle. And with Shoto, UCSR, and Elysium still with players ready to fight, the Sonarpo surrendered, ending the war. Now with Moonlandia gone and the Sonarpos gone, all that was left was Wildwood. Wildwood is going to merge with Shoto. Shoto now had more land and more people than any other nation. And the three big bad nations were gone. Life was good. I sure hope another nation doesn't get super powerful and becomes a real pain in the ass. Now after Moonlandia, Sonarpos, and Wildwood all ceased to exist, a bunch of their members moved to Norduria. Then, after some confusion and Norduria claiming to invade Shoto, Hey, we're gonna invade you. Yeah, us too. Who the f*** are you? Shoto decided to declare war on them before they could invade. The UCSR joined Shoto's side, and both nations were hoping to take out Norduria, as they were the last of what some people call the enemy nations. But with so many people now joining Norduria, this was not going to be an easy fight. And after getting prepared for war, we then went over to Varnova. Oh, they know we're here? Yeah. <laughs> it is straight east from here is their capital. Uh, obviously UCSR are gonna go around. Before we even had time to react, Norduria was attacking us. And we got hit hard. They're gonna be on the side of this ridge up here. Sure. Probably. Oh, I see fireworks. Oh. There's probably. Oh, yeah, yeah I see members of oh, oh, Norduria. Oh. What the heck? Definitely not our proudest moments, but we lost that battle, and Norduria pushed us back to Wildwood, where we waited for them to eventually invade. Guys, I think we should make like sniper so, towers. Uh, <laughs> towers. I hit one. Yeah, I mean, it's believe they're dumb. Oh, can I just like. Wait, can I spam hard enough? Hey, hey, someone's teaming up, they're 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 teaming up. I've got three of them on me, apparently. I got you, Nate. I'm dead, I'm come dead. Come on, LJ. Come, on, come after me, huh? Stop picking on Nate. Come on, come on. Okay. Can I just like give, can I give you guys like TNT? Cause I can't fight anymore, but I have a lot of TNT. There's no water. No! Oh. Oh, After a long fought battle, Norduria got another win. We all went back to the capital of Shoto to get gear and resources. Get ready. If you have strength arrows, use them on yourself. If you have harming arrows, use them on them. Every single last one. If you have an ender pearl, make sure you've used every one by the end of the battle. Every gapple. Every single durability on your armor is used up before you Every die. Every I see a boat, I see a boat, I see a boat. Norduria invaded the capital, and fighting began. This would be another long battle. Let them come to us, back off if you need to. Some of, some of them are coming from the north. They're flanking. Oh yeah, oh, I see them. I'm attacking. Don't let people fight alone. I'm coming back to you guys. I think they got Quarantino on their side. Oh, he's gone. Who blew up the TNT? Oh my god. They're running the other way. She's running the other way. Oh my god. Look at the other way. Oh my god, it's raining TNT. They weren't even there. Oh, who blew it up? It's blowing. Oh my lord. Don't let them blow you away. Gernski, Gernski's on me. Thank you. Yeah, I I'm helping out. I'm getting up again. It works well before. Keep doing it. Where are we getting? Uh -huh, Gunski. He's still here. The thanks guy. Who the hell is this kid? Is anyone oh my god! Oh, I'm dead. I, I am. <laughs> After a third defeat, Shoto surrendered, and peace negotiations between the two nations began. Yeah, but they never fought in their You want me exiled from Shoto? Shoto. Shoto had to give Norduria some of their land, and Norduria was on the rise. Now other nations were looking to gain victory themselves, and tensions between the Republic of Caria and the Kingdom of Eridonia rose. And after the death of the Pope, the Church requested a new Pope be found. With war looming and religious tension on the rise, many changes are on the way. In the last episode, Shoto and Norduria went to war, and Norduria ended up winning. Surely things couldn't get any worse. No, I don't even yeah, give I kind of, I, I still don't, don't like Shoto this at all. Thing, I, I say we all go to war with each other. Wars are, are fun you, are you dumb. It might make money somehow. Dumb right Everyone now. quiet down. My name is Rosenta. I'm here to take down all of you pathetic little baby losers. Hey. That's not nice. Rosenta was a newly formed nation in the northmost part of the map. And they wanted blood. Hey UCSR, you're looking kind of bumfuzzled over there. What did you call me? I'm gonna declare war on you. 
Hey, don't do that, because if you... Wait, is that Norduria? Oh, no, they don't. Ah! Ah! And so, Resenta declared war on the UCSR. And with Shoto too busy being mad at Norduria, there was no one to help the UCSR. Then Norduria merged with Shoto, and Resenta made it clear that they wanted to attack Shoto next. So, to avoid war, me and the leader of Shoto had a meeting with an ambassador from Resenta. <laughs> Oi! Oh, wake oh, up! Oh, oh my god. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, as... As the ambassador of Resenta, I invited you all here, all here today to talk about something very important. As you know, we are going to war soon. What? Sire, I have talked to Shoto, and we have agreed to not fight. We are at peace. Can I, can I see that real quick? Yeah, sure. All right, let me just grab this right here and do this, and then, um, let me just, oh, whoops. Uh, what are you doing? Here. Tell Shoto that they can go kiss my ass. Well, now that there's gonna be no more wars ever again, I can finally finish building my city. Hey, so, the King of Resenta told me to tell you to kiss his ass. Hey, that's not- Then Resenta declared war on Shoto, and Livonia, Caria, and Snowfall joined Shoto's side, and Eurosia, Phoenicia, Seawolves, and Eulinia joined Resenta's side, because who doesn't like a good old world war? Also, I'm gonna call this side Team A and this side Team B, um, so with all that out of the way, this is what the map looks like. This would be the largest war ever on the server, and the first battle takes place here. Team A all met in Norduria, which is now owned by Livonia. Then Team B arrived and the battle began. This would be the largest battle ever on the server, with over 50 players fighting. Team B hoping to win this battle and maybe force Livonia out of the war, but Team A was very prepared. After a very long battle, Team A was able to push out Team B, winning the first battle. Okay, we lost the first battle, but the war's not over. We can still win this. Wait, where are you guys going? Wait, no, come back. Eulinia decided to join Team A, and Eurosia backed out of the war. Then, Corinto joined the war and joined Team A. Nothing could stop Team A, and so they decided to invade Resenta. And the second battle began. Team B was outnumbered, and eventually they had to retreat to their capital. Team A won the second battle. Okay, we lost another battle, but it's still not over. Where, where are you, g oh, okay. Phoenicia got out of the war, and now it was nearly impossible for Team B to win. Team A invaded Resenta's capital for the third and final battle. Team A was able to win the third battle, taking out Resenta and ending the war. Resenta's land was split between Shoto and Livonia. Now, for me, a simple penguin living in Shoto, I was tired of all these world wars I was getting into. So me and a small group formed our own nation. We called this nation Antares, and our flag was beautiful. We then went to the Karia leader and said, hey, you should join us. Okay. And we had big dreams. 
We wanted to manifest our destiny and claim all the land we could. Oh, yeah. Wait, did Moonrum just claim land that we were going to claim? Surely a simple war would solve this. Hey, Moonrum, I declare war on you. Okay. Wait, why aren't you scared? Because you made a mistake. Come here, boys. We all declare war on you.